Hello viewers, welcome back to the second video of QoS series. In this video, we are going to see about differentiator services. We have seen in the earlier video, the QoS has four different models. So out of that, the fourth model is differentiated services, which is predominantly used in the IP world. So we, let's see what are all the things are there in the differentiated services model. Okay, first one, the building blocks of the um, differentiated services. The building blocks consist of two different parts. The first one is DSCP values and the second one is per hop behavior. So DSCP values is nothing but we have seen earlier in the IP header uh, header, there is a field called type of service, which is an 8 bit field. So DSCP uh, taken val taken six bits from the type of service field and it classifies the different services. So two power six is equal to 64. So there are 64 different kind of services or classes are there in the DSCP value. So this is one way of classifications and the classification of different services. And the second one is per hop behavior. This we have often heard about this uh, term per hop behavior. Per hop behavior is nothing but whenever a packet is traversing through a router or a switch, what action has to be taken on those packets? What are all the policies has to be applied and what is the SLA to be a followed up? These are all called as per hop behavior. Okay. Then we will move to server service differentiation. Services differentiated, uh, different service or di from different applications and different customers are differentiated in three ways. First one is uh, we know that six bits are taken from TOS field and we use this in, in the DSCP values. DSCP is called as differentiated services code point. And the second uh, remaining two bits are used for explicit, ex explicit congestion notification. And the third one is called as a behavior aggregates. So here we have seen behavior aggregates. Behavior aggregates is nothing but if a traffic flow is for um, going in a particular direction, then uh, the DSCP values are also same for that particular traffic flow. Then this is called, grouped into uh, a part called as behavior aggregates. I'm coming back again. So there is a traffic flow following from one direction to another direction. All the traffic flows have same DSCP value. Then they are grouped together and it is this group is called as behavior aggregates. So be all, the behavior aggregates has different flows. And even though there is a different ports or different source or different protocols they are carrying it, they are uh, grouped together uh, in the name of behavior aggregates. Okay, then the mapping process. Packets with the same DSCP value are grouped into behavior aggregates and their DSCP values. And then the DSCP values are mapped to the per hop behavior. How the packet has to be a behave, has to behave uh, whenever it crosses a um, uh, hop. Okay. In the per hop behavior, there are four different uh, uh, models are there. One is default forwarding and second one is expedited forwarding. And the third one is assured forwarding. And the last one is class selector okay let's see some of the components of diff uh, the first one is the ds domain ds what is ds domain ds domain is nothing but a, a group of uh, nodes which is maybe either the switches or routers is uh, is dscp enabled or they are aware of the dscp policies so the group of nodes which are dscp enabled is called as the dscp ds domain okay so there the routers are classified into ingress routers aggress routers and internal routers okay why we have to configure in uh, classify into ingress router and aggress router because qos or differentiator services are unidirectional so you have to configure different qos settings for ingress and aggress so the boundary nodes also act as the ingress node as well as the aggress node okay Traffic classifiers, how we are classifying the tra traffics. We have earlier seen that behavior aggregate is the one way of classifying the traffic that is purely depend upon the DSCP values. And the second method is the multi-field method. In the multi-field method, we are configuring the traffic based on not only DSCP values, we configure it based on the source address, destination address, the protocol which it carries and the source and port, uh, port number, source and destinations, port numbers. Okay. 
then the traffic conditioners now what is the traffic conditioners the first three bits of the dscp have been kept the same as the ip precedence we know that ip precedence have taken three bits from the type of service field the same three bits are used in the dscp also so what about the remaining three remaining three fields are notifying about the dropping probabilities in this way we are differentiating in the same queue for example same traffic uh, congestion has happening so which kind of traffic uh, which kind of packets can be dropped this is based on the dropping probability which is carried over by the remaining three bits in the DC, dscp field so dscp field is compatible with ip precedence because the same three bits which is used in the ip precedence is also used in the dscp field okay this is called as the ds domain okay what is ds region ds region is nothing but a, a group of ds domains is called as ds region usually it is managed by the one administrator which is also called as the IS, isp okay in some cases uh, um, it is each ds domain is maintained by a different isp administrator in this case for example uh, each ds domain has its own DP, php policy and dscp to php mapping so in that case if one packet is traversing from one domain to another domain then we have to tell the sla to the next domain also so what kind of policies or what kind of sla has to be carried over in the uh, in the packets so who will do this job this job is done by the boundary nodes so boundary nodes use a term called traffic conditioning agreement then they inform the second domain what are all the policies to be followed up in the uh, uh, incoming packets in your domain so they handshake with each other and the same uh, policies slas will be applicable for the uh, second domain as well okay then we move on to the per hop behavior we often use this term per hop behavior per hop behavior uh, uh, i will recap the per hop behavior is nothing but whenever a packet traversing through a router the router has to take certain decisions it's based on the policies and the slas and what action has to be taken care it has to be taken on these packets so this is called as per hop behavior this there are four different kind of uh, policies are there the first one is the uh, default forwarding df and ef is expedited forwarding and af is assured forwarding and the cs is class select so different kind of policies or methods are there so in the first one default forwarding this is called as the best effort service whenever there is a space for it the packet will traverse through it the value for df is uh, six zeros so packet sends whenever the link is free so there is no guarantee for that the default group if you didn't specify what pre hb group it is uh, packet series then it will default by default it follows the df method so second one is the expedited forwarding expedited forwarding means the traffic such as voip or voice traffic we have to we have to forward it as quickly as possible we can't able to store it for a long time in the in the buffer so these kind of traffics are forwarded through expedited forwarding the the code used for expedited forwarding is 101110 so next comes the assured forwarding in assured forwarding xy is the notation is there uh, so it is four different classes of forwarding is there uh, x de defines as a high va high value defines high priority it's x value defines the priority and the y values define the dropping possibilities so if the values are high in both x and y fields then there is a chance that uh, if x value is high then the the high priority will be given to the series if y value is high then the packet series will have a probability of dropping uh, heavily or a dropping probability will be very high so this uses the first three bits of in the dscp field so this is called as assured forwarding the most commonly used method in the per hop behavior groups so and the final one is uh, it's actually for compatibility pur purpose we have used this class selector so as we seen earlier first three bits in the dscp is more common with the ip precedence method or model in the D uh, uh, model in the qos uh, QoS cases. So eight different classes are there. Uses first three bits of DSCP. The remaining all or remaining three bits are set to zero. So this is called as PHBs. 
Okay.